which are associated with seeing in this world and this difficulty she was having was associated with the fear of spiritual vision. It was a, a fear of I amness, a fear of no thingness, a fear of, of abstraction, a fear of the disappearance of the universe, a fear of the disappearance of everything I hold dear in this world. You could say it a number of different ways, but that's where it seemed to be in the symptoms was in the eyes. Then we, we go on to see that Jesus says, the body's eyes do not see, and the body's ears do not hear. It's quite a trick when you've been associating seeing with eyeballs and, and hearing with ears <laughs> to hear that lesson. He's just saying, that's how thick the mesmerism is. You've convinced yourself that you're a body, you can convince yourself that you live in a time and space that doesn't even exist. You've convinced yourself you've left eternity. And the fear to look within is the fear of the spiritual vision within. So, when we say the question, why is there suffering? Uh, we could say that there are assumptions that come under the question and the very question itself is not a real question, it's a statement. Of course it's a statement that suffering exists, and then the why question looks for an answer for, you might say, the impossible. Can, is there a reason for the impossible? And when you put it in those terms it sounds a little funny, it doesn't sound like a real question. So. Our question turned around is, is a purposeful question like, what, what is it for? What is the meaning for anything that I perceive in this world? And the humble answer that we receive is forgiveness. But it's not the kind of forgiveness that we learned about in this world. Forgiving things that happened to us, or forgiving people, <clears throat> or forgiving even symptoms. I need to forgive this cancer in the eye and so forth. It's literally taking us to a release point where we let go of the entire misperception of the world. And if that seems to be too great, then there will be a hesitation and healing will not be thrust on us. Love doesn't say enough time to accept the healing. It's like, it's just like a free offering, but it can't be accepted as long as it's feared. Yeah.